Otaku wins. Real quick announcement before we begin our episode. So we have our special announcement. It is finally here. We are doing our first ever giveaway. Go ahead. <laughs> We're doing our first ever giveaway. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, the link will be down in the description below. Go to freeanimestuff.com so you can enter for a chance to win the prizes. The prizes will be listed here. Um, stick around for the end of the episode because we will also be giving a secret code. Secret, secret code. <laughs> secret code uh, for you to for you to get more entries. Yeah, just, just more. don't tell them. Don't tell them the secret. Um, we're not going to put timestamps in the video either. <laughs> just put secret code in the timestamp <laughs> um, um but stick around to the end we'll get a secret code so you can have more entries to win our our giveaway does end on october 31st on halloween this is our first ever giveaway uh we are doing it with our good buddy experience rick um so it's kind of a partnership going on we're giving away some funkos some play mats some cards i mean a lot of stuff and we're really excited to give back to you guys the community those who've been supporting us those who've been around since day one uh so please check that out freeanimestuff.com a uh, link will be down in the description below let's get into the episode Otakuans, welcome back What's to up? another What's beautiful up? episode. Episode. This one is. <laughs> yeah. This, this one's gonna be a little bit late. I just got back from a hiking trip, which was really good. My back hurts, my knee hurts, my feet hurt. Um, I'm tired and I have a headache. What's new? So what's new right that's just, i i was that way before <laughs> i left this is the usual all right this, this, yeah any this is any other uh what is it tuesday <laughs> so <laughs> um we're we're gonna hop into our news uh please like subscribe leave a comment down below ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes check out that giveaway we're doing <laughs> wink wink uh check out that giveaway um but let's let's go ahead and hop into the news as we always do to start yeah. out so one piece going on a six month news. going on a six month hiatus big dog don't like that one piece news <laughs> <laughs> for the first time for the i think they said in the first time in and one piece's anime existence mm. they are going on this big of a hiatus um for egghead egghead island egghead island arc yeah um how you feeling, how you feeling? Um, give me give me six months to catch up i guess I mean, <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if I did, um but... it's it's not it's not that bad for me because actually at this point in the manga uh last mm -hmm. year we went on break as well i think it was like for five weeks or something like that um because obviously the um the one piece live action was going on Oda also was having yep. eye surgery so yep. i'm good because it's kind of like well played my nigga like oh y'all <laughs> just so happened to did it now but also because the anime, to be real, is starting to catch up with the manga. Like, we're in the same arc as the yeah. manga. <laughs> I mean, well, the manga just ended the arc. But we're fairly close to it. So it's given the the anime time to mm -hmm. catch up. Because um, I've also been noticing a lot of filler. When, remember the whole, oh, we're not going to do any filler between um, mm -hmm. Wano and Egghead. Yeah. But yeah. then they just start putting filler in Egghead. Like, th that don't count, dude. Like, you just did it in Egghead. That don't count. You didn't put it in between. So a lot yeah. of more filler has been added in. Some good filler. A lot of good, like, added um, um, fight animation, added choreography. Okay. I love that type of filler. But when they just start adding more, like, get into the last episode, Kobe episode. Like, I'm not going to get yeah. into it because you haven't gotten to it. But yeah, yeah. it took the whole episode for him to do one punch one punch one punch man the episode prior was think of the manga chapter itself three okay. quarters of the chapter the episode prior the next episode the last quarter of that chapter the whole episode and i'm Howard. like why did it take doing? so long to do this? <laughs> what are we doing and then you tell me next week we got a six month break so, Something yeah, we need we, we need to go ahead and um put we need pump answers. the brakes. No, no answer. Just pump the brakes. I'm okay with it. Pump the brakes because okay. they're gonna give okay. us more content. So, okay, let's see what they got for us. Hey, I'm I'm here. I'm with it. Um, all right. Um, unfortunately, again, I gotta keep putting this in my news just so we pay respects to these people. But we have two um, voice actors who have passed away. So the first one 
is the uh, Dorizemon. So that super long, super old anime. Oh, the, uh, the voice show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doraemon. Yeah, Dorez Dorezemon. I I haven't watched it. My apologies if I'm you know screwing that up. But the voice actor uh, Nobio Ayama. She was 90 years old. She and she did pass away recently. So rest in peace to her. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, we got our boy next time on Dragon Ball Z, uh, Doc Harris. Doc oh, Harris did pass away um, from, you know, complications with the surgery. So uh, rest in peace to them. We 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 losing some of the greats. We losing some. That's our childhood, though. I mean, these Bro. people were old when we were kids. Bro, so, next time on Dragon Ball Z, like the, yeah. when, it, when I think of Dragon Ball Z, you can't skip yeah. that memory like every episode of, of every season or saga yeah. like i feel i, I feel kind of bad though because since i started watching it when i was an adult every time I'd be like next time i'd be like skip click <laughs> <laughs> but you heard next time but i heard and that I heard was it. him yeah yeah like, i heard it yeah i heard yo, it. He's that was my he's cue legend. he was my cue to skip to the next episode hey, hey he so, was the in in the beginning yeah. i love it um in in other dragon ball z um news DBZ Sparkling Zero, the video game that has that just released in 24 hours, has sold three million copies. Mm. Three million. It's on top. It's on top. I remember playing DBZ games back a day. Mm. Like, I mean, these Dragon Ball Z is on top. And we we're comparing it. We made the funny comparison because I said, "Oh, Health Diver could do that in 24 hours." But the problem is, is even if so, DBZ did more sold copies in 24 hours than Helldivers did. But even if they did the same amount as Helldivers did, this is even more impressive because Helldivers had short form media to bring them up. They had TikTok, they had Instagram Reels, they had streamers to 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 really show this game out within the first 24 hours. Mm. And so people are gonna go to it from TikTok. DBZ got DBZ. That's all they got. Just and DBZ. for three million copies to be sold in 24 hours on standalone with no really no advertisement i mean there was advertisement but like you have to be in the circles for that you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like i mean i didn't see any advertisement for it like it yeah. came kind of as a surprise to me did we ever talk about sparkling we, talk, out? Well, we talked about a new dbz game dropping a while ago mm -hmm. but i had been in a gamestop or two in the past few weeks and i've seen the advertisements mm -hmm. for it but there's nothing on like TikTok, instagram there's no videos on youtube about it you know what i'm saying so like you know, like yeah, it, it, it was wild is it's the top of hype right now when it comes to the weeb yeah. anime community. They love yeah. this game. I, I can't scroll oh, yeah. through my Facebook right now without seeing screenshots of the Dragon Ball um, Sparking Zero game, like all the different um, versions of the characters that you can actually play yeah. with all the different interactions. The fact that it's kind of like a what if of the storyline but if the storyline yeah. was slightly different like people love what ifs and now you got a whole yeah. game of dragon ball what ifs so it's at the top of the game right what, now what what jump force could have been <laughs> don't don't do that <laughs> don't 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 speak no, i was so excited i dropped i dropped all my money on that when it mm. first came out anime and what just, if supreme it, to the biggest became, failure supreme just disappointment disappointment um so this is kind of a new kind of not new segment i don't know if i'm gonna continue doing this but just to help out since there's a lot of animes right now that are popular that aren't re that aren't coming back for a while um but just to kind of help some of you guys out who may like manga and like the anime at the same time i've put a list together of uh, just a few not a lot of them of popular animes that have ended right now that you can go into the manga pick up on this chapter and continue reading the story from there so uh, the first one I got is Demon Slayer. If you start at chapter 140 um, from where Demon Slayer ended, and then you can finish out Demon Slayer from there from where the anime ended. Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, chapter 138. Um, you can finish out the the manga from there. And then we got Furin. So Furin's really popular. A lot of people love Furin. I hear people talking about it all the time. You pick that up from chapter 61, um, and then you can continue it out there. Solo Leveling is chapter 46, and Kaiju number 8 is chapter 39. So just to kind of, you know, just to kind of help some of you guys out, I know it's kind of disappointing. We talk about all the time where some of our favorites aren't really coming back soon. And we do it on this channel. Those of you who have been here for a while, you already know that we talk about what's coming out, the returners, the this and that. So just stay tuned for that. But if you want to continue reading the story and you want to find out what happens next, you're just itching for that. They're fiending for that fix of what's happening next in that show. Uh, that's where you can pick up from there. So I just want to kind of add that in there for you guys. Um, so if you want to go to the bookstore and kind of, you know, sit down crisscross applesauce like those nerds, 
and read manga right next to the manga section so you don't have to buy it. Um, no offense. Um, but uh, the last thing I got is One Piece and Naruto games have been called off by Bandai Namco because of major downsizing for their workers. So recently Bandai has been firing a lot of their Japanese workers. So about, a, I believe, 100 have been laid off so far. Mm. Um, there's no real reason to why. I mean, all from what I know, Bandai makes makes money. Like, they make money. Yeah. I haven't looked into their stock or anything, but, like, they make money. They got toys. They got accessories. They got video games. They have, hell, they're producers on animes. They're actual pr- product um, supervised on animes. You see anime pop up, you see a little Bandai sticker pop up. So mm-hmm. they, they make it money. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Uh, you guys can do a little bit of research yourself. I've done a little bit, um, but they're laying off a lot of workers. So a lot of the new games that were supposed to be coming out, like Naruto, like One Piece, have been called off. They have been canceled or until further notice again, because you never know. In the next couple of years, they could drop them or, yeah. you know, whatever. But when they're supposed to come out, um, they're they're not coming. So if you're looking for the next Ninja Storm 48, yeah, it, it ain't it ain't Ninja coming out. Twenty eight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, this is actually not the um, first time I'm hearing of video game workers being laid off. I don't know yeah. how much um, you know, but like Bethesda, a huge video game company here in the mm-hmm. states, laid off a lot of workers. Um, yeah, Microsoft that. laid off a lot of um, video game developers. Like, I don't know what's going on. Exactly. I don't know what's going on, but no idea. you can't say video games aren't selling because, again, look at Spark and Zero, hey, 3 right. million copies in 24 hours. Like, not, you can't tell me only think, Dragon Ball Z niggas are buying video games. No, because when, when the last Naruto game came out, we did a new segment about how many copies they sold as well, and mm-hmm. it was a lot. So, so like, I'm, I don't know, man. Japanese people don't go on strike. All right, hey. they work till they die, till they get isekai. I realize okay? what it is. Not because I had a conversation with somebody else. Well, what yeah. it might be is automation, mm, AI and shit. Yeah, like they're able. Mm. You create not not just like mm. AI, not AI taking over where, but like creating. I had to write some papers for me. Being able to create um, <laughs> programs that are taking like the the lower jobs, like identifying yeah. tru- like um problems, troubleshooting things, yeah. identifying those things, so that somebody higher can be able to fix them. If they can yeah. now create a program for that, which in some instead instances of having happened, a person do it, yeah, they get rid of the lower staff and they can just keep up the mm. upper management. It's all about money. Hey, I'm gonna say this every hey, episode. It's save money. all about the money. It's every just like the Bojangles money. near my house. The 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 person at the mic when you pull up drive through is an AI bot now. It's not a person. I'm not even kidding you. I was I was when I pulled up to that drive through and it was like here, how, it said how it said how can I what can I what can I get you and I'm like sitting there because usually when they the automation voice talks you just kind of sit there and wait for somebody mm-hmm. to hop on the mic. I'm like. And it's like, what can I get you? And I'm like, can first I get off, a number? Oh, yeah, that like, attitude. Your mouth. Hey, Skynet, <laughs> Skynet, shut your mouth, first of all. But I'm like, uh, can I get a number three? And they're like, what What would you like to drink? And I'm like, is this a person like playing a game with me? <laughs> no, and no, I, it would be funny if like, they start using like slang. Bet, yeah. I got you, fam. Bet, bet. <laughs> oh, I got you want a biscuit, my nigga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, really? Corporate. Oh, really? <laughs> Corporate. Yeah. yeah, I'm calling you. I'm I'm getting Bojango money. Oh, <laughs> like, I pull up to the window. I look at this girl. I said, I have to expect the damn Roomba to hand me my food. And she was like, Oh yeah, they they it's a robot now. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, Don't they used to pay people for that? And they're like, Not anymore. We got a we got an AI software that does it. And I'm like, Damn, I mean, taking our jobs. When you when you think about it though, if it was you, twenty dollars an hour. Or, or one easy payment of nine ninety nine ninety nine a month. A month, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm just go ahead and get that one easy easy installment. I'm I'm yes, straight. They hired a cybersecurity company. It's cost twenty bucks a month. I'm gonna put it on Klarna. Put it yeah. on ZipPay. <laughs> Four <laughs> easy zip. payments. I'm chilling. You can't you can't zip anybody a paycheck, but you can zip a bill. You know, what I'm fact. <laughs> you know what I'm Let me run these numbers real quick. No, let me yeah, stop playing. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> all right. All right. So I. I kind of have a little show recommendation, but it's not a recommendation. Mm. All right. It is, but it isn't. It is, but it isn't. You know, I'm on my Netflix jaunts, right? Mm. There's a show that came out called Twilight of the Gods. Twilight of the Gods. It's a new, it's an, it's a Netflix anime about Norse mythology. I saw that. I didn't watch it. I saw the thumbnail for it. Yeah. Yeah. So 
let me preface this by saying they made up for the storytelling uh-huh. with titties and blood. Titties and blood. Every time you got to preface something, it's not a good yeah. thing. So let me, <laughs> let me hear it. Titty, titties and blood. So this show okay. is essentially about a king of a village. Think of Ragnar, right? I'm going to put it in terms we, we all understand, mm. right? Think of Ragnar from Vikings, right? The king of this village married to well not married yet but is fianced fianced to a woman who is a human giant so essentially she's like half giant half jotun so it it takes i will say that the problem with this show one of the so my first con would be that you kind of have to know a little bit about norse mythology to understand the show a little bit and i know quite a bit about norse mythology um, and Roman and Greek, like that's just I like learning about that stuff. So she's half Jotun and half human. Jotun Jotunheim is a area of the world where giants live, but she's half human, half giant. But she's the size of a human, and she leaves her father, leave her land to go explore people, find people her size, you know, so on and so forth. Um, she don't want that, you know, that meat. You know, she's scared. Um, but <laughs> she's scared. <laughs> her mama, her mama was the human. Oh. Like, yeah, hey, baby girl, let me show you how you do it. <laughs> yeah, like craziness. Anyways, so she goes off. She married. She finds the dude. She finds the king. They fall in love. All this type of stuff. They the show starts off with battle and Valkyries coming down, like titties out, mm. like nether regions That's out okay. and stuff. Like they come down, taking people off the battlefield. This and that. It shows her saving him in battle. Um, and that's when they fall in love. So on and so forth. Violence, blood, animation looks cool. I'm all for it. Right, mm. and. They essentially, she's like, I want to introduce you to my fam bam. Like, I want to introduce you to the fam, to the pops. Uh, Her mom, I think, is dead, I believe. I think her mom died. I want to introduce you to my brothers, to to this, to this, to this, to that, right? Yeah. So they end up traveling to Jotunheim. And this show is about the gods and everything being real. So it's not like a Viking show where they talk about the gods. And there's little inklings of, like, maybe they do exist, maybe they don't. It's like, they are real. The giants are real. The gods are real. Everything is real, Hmm. right? Um, and they go there to get married. That's where they're going to get married is in Jotunheim and then have another ceremony back home. Well, they come to Jotunheim, meet the fam, everybody's chilling, everything's calm. And then, um, Thor shows up like at the wedding ceremony, Thor. If you know anything about Thor and Norse mythology, he hate not Chris Hemsworth. Um, (laughs) no, I mean like the, the God came in. Yes. The God of thunder. Okay. The God of thunder. If you know anything about Thor and Norse mythology, he hates giants. Hates them. But like, this is Toby Rama Uchiha level. Hates giants. You know what I'm saying? And Excellent. mercs them. Deep hate. Mer- mercs every one of them. Mercs them. Kills them. Splits them in half. All kinds of stuff, right? Because mm. he's looking for Loki, his brother. Um, and his obviously, we know who Loki is. He's the mis- mischievous one. He's like the devil of Norse mythology. Everybody blames everything on Loki, mm. right? Um, and Loki is technically, he is technically there. He's like in the version of a salamander or whatever, but they're like, we don't know where he is. Like, please, like, you know, chill, chill, chill. Like, we don't know. Killing everybody. Well, this turns in, this show turns into her revenge story um, to get back at the God of Thunder or at Thor. And because she ends up surviving, he ends up surviving um, the, the husband or whatever. And so he's like, I will follow you to the pits of hell, to wherever, so we can kill Thor, kill this God. Um, the one thing I like about this show, there's two, well, there's two things, and we'll get to the other things before. But the one thing I like about this show is they do, they do the gods like they've done in like there's a show called American Gods. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's yeah. a real, it's like a like live action like people people show. And you know how in that that the gods get their power from their prayers and mm-hmm. from people believing in them. So like if people don't believe in them anymore, then they don't their power diminishes and when people start believing in say like technology a new god is formed so on and so forth i like that concept in a show i think that's a cool concept um well that's kind of like the concept in this show as well where uh the god's powers are kind of diminishing and they can still be killed but they're still like super strong i mean they're still gods at the end of the day and so we go on this trip and i think i mentioned this in our last episode where they start stealing the plot from Vox, Vox Machina, in my opinion, mm. and which is a funny segue into our next segment here. But they steal the plot of this show because they have to go to a place to get weapons in order to kill these gods. Like, they can't just use their regular weapons. They have to go get special weapons, just like Vox Machina. They got to go get special weapons to defeat this one special boss and blah, 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 blah. Um, 
and they kind of go on this adventure picking up unlikely friends that wouldn't really necessarily be a part of their party mm -hmm. to go kill these gods and it, it's it's a very violent it's a very graphic show um and they get to a point where um they kind of get these gangs together they end up going to the old gods so like the first people they go to to get help is from the old gods the old gods are the ones that were pre essier they were pre pre thor uh odin they were like the gods of the earth they were they were just forgotten about um gods and if you read like the i think it's the tales and myths of norse mythology book it's like a it's like a show it's like not, not like poems but they're short stories of each god and like the beginning and the end of norse mythology you hear about the pre-gods and the uh, they're called like the Esir. anyways mm -hmm. um and they go for them for help but again with the with with our topic here is that they are losing their power because nobody believes in them anymore so they said they're they're all kind of withering away and dying and they tell them like hey if you go if you go into um if you go into asgard and you go into the garden, the Garden of Eden, right? And you grab, or not the garden, the, um, you go into the forest that's like held by a dragon. You get the golden apples of immortality and you bring them back to us. We will, we will help you. Well, the kind of like in between that, Loki shows up and offers them like a path. Like, hey, you fight with me, you help me, help me, help you, help me. You know what I'm saying? Like the enemy of my enemy type shit. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, she's like, bet. Like, calm, like, let's, let's, I, like, I don't fucking like you because you're the reason why my family's dead. But if we have a God on our side, we're straight. So he's coming around always being mischievous and like being fucked up, shit like that. Because, and people have been trying to warn her, like, hey, you can't align yourself with a God. He's not the one that gave us a weapon. So we're chill anyways, but you can't align yourself with a God because gods always have their own plans. He's just using you like a tool. And she's like, I don't give a fuck if I'm used like a fork. I want to get my kill. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to get my kill. I want to run the ones with Thor and get my kill. Mm. And so they're like, okay. And the gods like, go get them apples for us. They go get the apples. They fight a dragon. They get, grab these apples, so on and so forth. Loki poisons the motherfucking apples because he doesn't want the old god to get their powers back. So he's, he's like, it's like they take two steps forward. Loki makes them take one step back while still helping them at the same time, which is like kind of a weird plot line for me, but understandable, but a weird plot line. Mm. But again, this, the reason why... I'm starting to not dislike the show, but just kind of be like, okay, makes sense. Yep. Moving on. Yep. Moving on is because they, this is like a, this is 100% a, just a Norse version of Vox Machina, in my opinion, they get might meet likely unlikely friends. They make friends with like deities. They, they get special weapons. They have to do favors for this person. Then it's like a, it's like a damn MMORPG type of game where you could do side quests. It's like an Elden ring for Norse mythology. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's cool. It's cool. But Loki poisons the apples. A couple of the gods die. Them gods try to kill them now. And then they try to they try to escape. And then they try to say, no, 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 like I promised. And then, I mean, there's a and there's a lot of sex in the show. <laughs> like, like they be fucking. And like, you know, and, and I'm like Netflix god, Greek god show. But like, uh, you're talking about Blood of Zeus? Yeah. Yeah. That that one's a little different though, because it's it's based off of kind of like the Hercules story where he's like half God. And so he gets to go up there and kind of help out against the Titans. Yeah. Yeah. Not, like, not the plot line, like the yeah, same yeah. Netflix vein mm -hmm. of the God. And I love it. I love it. Whatnot. I love it when they make these shows, but like I noticed the trends cause I watch all of your shows, Netflix. And I, I watch all the shows on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I noticed the trends, you know what I'm saying? And so, but yeah, and they end up getting there, getting there. Um, and then they meet Odin, like Odin, first of all, fucking idiots so odin is obviously like the big bad right mm -hmm. odin kind of does with his his thing but like she's really after thor but like odin is the all father like he is in charge of these mm -hmm. niggas like so he needs to die too mm -hmm. and so um they're all prepared after they've gathered and I, i'm not talking about anything like in between us all like bullshit but like when they're finally preparing for big battle they got all their friends they're preparing for this big battle um they lose a couple people along the way because she's just being stupid and just like reckless and shit at this point um like they they're all sitting around a fire about to lay siege to Asgard and they're just like um they're all telling stories like that's the kind of Norse a Norse thing like you tell stories around a fireplace before you go to battle mm. and this this old nigga with an eye patch that's mystical shows up to tell them a story and they're all like oh and the minute he walks in I'm like oh that's fucking Odin and everybody's like oh yeah that's a wow what a story what a story and I'm like 
nigga, did you know that I can see? Like, I'm cat. What you, I'm like, I'm sitting on my couch, like, am I the only one that knows this nigga is Odin? Like, am I the only, like, he has an eye patch and he's mystical as fuck. Nope. He, he hasn't, everybody knows everybody. He's a random. He is a blueberry. Like, you don't know that this random dude don't just walked nothing. in. Like, he'd just be a every, random old guy. Like words of wisdom. First of all, he said the minute he sits down, I'm gonna be like, pause. Where did you come from? First of all, Odin, take the hood off. Stop. Stop playing. Stop playing around. Stop. Look, I know you're Odin. Stop it. Take the hood off. Chill out. Right. Um, and then they have like this whole like the there's this one like chick slash dude. It's like a witch. It's like kind of like a trans something. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know exactly the term for it, and I don't want to be unpolitically correct, but like um it's like a witch, but she's she can she he can make their form kind of just kind of different i guess mm-hmm. um and she starts kind of kind of picking up what odin's putting down like he kind of leaves after he tells the story everybody tells their story and like in the morning um she he kind of has sex with one of the other dudes is like kind of gay but kind of not and then he she gets up and she sees him and then he does his forms which i think odin's like the way they portrayed odin in this is masterfully done he has three forms on him kind of like they kind of they kind of do it like the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit kind of thing, like mm-hmm. for you know, for like our really like Christianity, where Odin has three forms. He has his godly form, where he has his crown, his everything. He has his form where he was beaten and hung, um, like where he has like his eye patch and like where his eyes kind of like this eye socket's gone. And then he has his wanderer form, and they all sit and talk together, like they all talk with the same voice. And I think that was really, I think that was really cool. Mm-hmm. She sees him for who he is, and then she's like. He's like, this isn't my war to interfere in this and that. But if you siege my my kingdom, like I'm going to like we're going to throw hands. And she's like, man, fuck you. And he's like, all right. And then he leaves. Right. And I'm like, it took you all, all night. It took one person all night to figure this shit out. Like, come on. But anyways, and then they start laying siege to Asgard. They start getting clapped. <laughs> they start getting just worked. And. You know, they're fighting, they're fighting, everything's good. Like, Thor comes out, Thor's beating motherfuckers' asses. It's, I like to think of this battle. This battle, the, the scenery reminds me of, and you just recently watched Lord of the Rings, the battle for Helm's Deep. Like, the, mm. the ending of it, when when um, Gandalf shows up, riding the riding the Rohirrim down the hill, and it's all light outside, and all mm. the orcs are like, Urgh! and they start getting fucked up. Like, that's like, it's like a giant open plain with a hill and like the kingdom of Asgard like sitting there and everybody's just like ah, battling in the field. And like Valkyries are starting to come down and like this and that. And the, the purpose of the witch is to go up and her, her destiny is to essentially kill Odin. Like that's her destiny. And Loki's whole point. So in Norse mythology, um, Ragnarok is essentially their Armageddon, essentially their apocalypse end of times. The story of Ragnarok is that um, uh, Fenrir, the the wolf, will kill Odin, um, or will eat eat Odin, whatever it is. But Fenrir will also die. Uh, Jormungandr, or the the world serpent, the snake that holds the seas together, will him and Thor will, or her and Thor will fight, and they will both also die. And then the seas will 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 leave like their confinements and wash the, the world in a flood, you know, the flood story, this and this and this and that, so on and so forth. And the problem is that Fre- uh, Fenrir and Jormungandr are, are Loki's children. Mm. And so he doesn't want that destiny to happen. That's why he wants to kill Thor before Ragnarok starts. So that can't happen. If that makes sense. And that's why he wants the girl, the witch girl, which she's not the main character. The, the fiance is the female that got her whole family killed, but he wants the girl to go kill or take Odin's memories of Ragnarok away. So that, that, that also won't happen. He doesn't want his children to die. Essentially. That's his whole plan. And so, you know, the witch goes up and they're all fighting. The Valkyries are coming down and I'm like, this kind of a stupid moment for me, but the Valkyries are alleged uh, are aligned with a Valhalla and Asgard. They're, they're essentially lower Essie they're angels. If you think of like God and angels, they're angels. Essentially. They're the ones that go on the battlefield, take away the souls of the people who've died in battle so they can go to Valhalla. And the, the Valkyries start showing up. Their people start getting like hurt, stuff like that. Um, and like one girl, uh, one of one of the fiancés, I forgot what her name is, her friend dies. And so she's like, the Valkyries start coming down, and she's like, take her, take her, take her. And the Valkyries are looking at her like, no. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> like, like, you are waging war against the 
kingdom, the god kingdom of Asgard and and the 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 and Valhalla. You are waging war against this religion, essentially. Mm. We are Paul, we are angels of this religion. Why the fuck would we take you to Valhalla type shit? But we also end up finding out that the chick, um, the older chick that is helping her fight, she also kind of gave her soul up in this attempt to have a more powerful weapon because she's also avenging her lover that was killed by a god mm. and these hands from the ground start coming up to pull her into hell well we kind of find out that so hell hell is also loki's child hell is like she is hell she invented the underworld this whole it's it's a big norse mythology we could talk three i could talk to you for three hours about norse mythology anyways okay. um well she looks at she's like no 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 like don't take her to hell no 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 she needs to go to valhalla that's where her sons are this and this and this and that and hell comes to her and she's like and hell's like actually really nice and she's like um she will be freer than she's ever been before in valhalla she'll be forced to which i thought about when i first started reading about norse mythology i thought about that too in norse mythology you go to valhalla you wake up every morning you fight to the death and then you feast at night and do it all over again that's like your heaven mm -hmm. and i'm like that sounds terrible <laughs> like why would i want to do that and so hell's like if she goes to valhalla she'll be forced in chains to fight and then also in in ragnarok all the people who who are in valhalla leave valhalla to go fight another eternal war against the armies of armageddon they also also die like they lose like that's armageddon that's the story of norse mythology is that they lose because like that's the end of their religion right um and she's like, she'll be forced to fight. She'll be forced to die constantly over and over again. But in hell, she'll have free reign to do what she wants. She won't be tortured. She won't be tormented. That's not, the gods have painted hell as what it's not supposed to be, of what is not, what it not, what it isn't. And she's like, oh, well, she won't be with her friends. It's like, that's, that's fine. She won't be, but she'll be, she'll be free. She'll be free finally, you know? I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool, I guess, you know? Um, and, the witch goes up, just kind of ending this, ending this out. The witch goes up to uh, Odin, and this is one part that I really, I really enjoyed. And you know, I, I, we don't talk politics or religion on this podcast. We're, we do pop culture stuff, but you know, I'm a Christian, so I appreciated this part. And she goes up to Odin, and she does kind of like she does the fucking Ang take away your bending powers kind of thing on him. Um, to take away his wisdom and everything like that, which she knows it'll kill her as well, or do something to her. She that's her destiny, and she starts flashing Odin because she starts getting the powers of foresight and like future te future sense and like all this other stuff, but like centuries of future sense, not like a couple minutes. And she starts flashing images in Odin's brain about what he's bringing, the his rule has is going to bring to this earth, and it starts flashing the ending of of. Norse mythology, the ending of this, cities starting to be built. It kind of does the whole AOT thing where it's like attack time, but then it shows like cities being built, like yeah. actual modern cities. It shows modern cities being built, um, Norse gods being forgot about and dying. And then it shows Jesus on a cross. And then he gets off the cross and comes down and like floats in front of him and then puts his hand on his head. And then Odin starts like crying and because it's like a sign of forgiveness because Jesus is like the true king of mm -hmm. the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I didn't expect that shit to happen. And then Odin ends up getting, getting clapped. And then the witch girl becomes a new God. She becomes a new God of like balance. I guess you call it. It showed like, I don't, I don't know if she's going to become like the God of like Christianity. I don't know if that's like the whole thing, but it essentially showed Jesus being like the one true King of like everything and like giving him forgiveness or whatever. And she ends up becoming a new God herself. Um, so I don't know, but like kind of at the, so at the end of this and something that kind of like really didn't make sense to me mm. was like, so our main character, she finally gets into her one-on-one, -on -one, like her one V one with, with Thor, right? Mm. She ends up getting clapped. She ends up getting killed. But what's killed? weird is like, yeah, like Thor oh, wow. ends up getting killed as well. And so, but I guess cause he recognized her in battle um, because he said, Hey, how about this? you 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 fucking lay down your weapons yeah i've recognized you you're a strong warrior i marry you you become a goddess and we just reign and she's like <laughs> i thought like, you put up the the, the ring finger nah, like nah, she, wait nah, she, put up, she put up the middle the middle finger and she was like nah, fuck ring you. On it. they end up they end up killing each other and then 
this is how I don't see this is how I see this show kind of being weird. So she ends up succeeding because Thor ends up dying too. However, since he recognized her, the Valkyries start carrying the other army's people to Valhalla. And so the Valkyries carry Thor and her to Valhalla. And then she like wakes up in Valhalla and she's like, what the fuck? Oh shit. I'm in Valhalla. And then all of a sudden somebody's like beer or like pint. And she's like, huh? And she looks and it's Thor handing her a beer. Mm. And she's like, motherfucker. And he, and he's like, Hey, we here together. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's make our, let's make the best of it. And she's giving him like the stank face. And I'm like, so I'm like thinking like one or two things. Like, so one, so if they continue their fight, is this going to be like a, they fight and keep killing each other until there can't be a second season because like you can't go, you can't, there is nothing in Norse mythology. Cause they're very like, I'd say accurate in Norse mythology, hmm. but you, there's no way you can just go into Valhalla. So it's not like her husband, her hubby or any of them. Other people can just stroll into Valhalla to rescue her. That's not how it works hmm. Two, If a God dies, cause gods can die in Norse mythology. They do go to Valhalla. Like, which Thor is supposed to be in charge of, which also kind of doesn't make sense, but it's a show. They had to shorten shit up. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a fucking 12 million hour show. But um, Thor's there, so he can't leave because he's dead. Like, he is in Valhalla. He can't leave. So one of two things is going to happen. One, they're going to be just kosh. They're going to be calm together and just kind of fuck shit up together in Valhalla. Or two, they're just going to keep fighting and then dying and then waking up and fighting and then dying and then waking up. Is that, like the route they're going to go with this because it ended in a way that they're going to bring a season two back. So I'm really, I'm really like curious to see how they're going to bring, because there's also other gods that aren't dead yet. The war was still happening. Like they died and the war was still going on. And so how are we going to wrap this up? Because they also look like when she was kind of looking at him, it was kind of looking at him like that uh, annoying brother look. It wasn't that like, I still want to kill you. Look. So I'm like, so you, you killed him and both y'all in Valhalla now and you just chill now? Like, it's, yes, it's cool? we fought. It's, it's, it's cool? Over. It's over? It's over? Like, Ty. yeah. That, like, that don't... I don't like, I don't know. Like, that don't we make killed sense. each other. I'm not angry no more. Isn't that the point of the fight? Like... <laughs> you know, I'm like... And they're, mm. and they're Vikings. The warriors, like, to die in battle is, like, the ultimate, like... Oh, yeah. It's the thing. ultimate, like... Okay, and then you, like, you died killing odin in battle like thor but yeah or yeah thor pint like nigga you won you made it <laughs> let's yeah. run valhalla together because you're not one of them you with me like, you're obviously you with me. We, had to, we had the bar in valhalla we're not down yeah. there in chains fighting we're the drinking. dumb wars we so, drinking yeah. i don't know it was it was that's kind of interesting so it so so just the just like my overall impression Mm. it is a good show it's a it's a good show but i see a lot of elements which people do it all the time i'm not saying that we there's no shows that don't have tropes from other shows yeah but it's like a hard trope from vox machina like a hard trope it's Mm. literally just norse mythology vox machina Mm. like that's all it is like uh people going out for revenge the only difference is that they already don't have a band of people. So like in Vox Machina, they already have their group that they've been fucking shit up with. Mm. But then they meet other people who help them along the way. They get new weapons. They have to go fight big bads. They get in a little army together and they have to fight people that nobody's ever fought before. Get in a little trouble, have a little sex, you know, like that's literally. I was about to say this is like no more anime until that last part. Whoa, we don't do that here. What? Yeah, like it's, it's, it's fucking? titties and. Yeah, titties and blood, and they showed the downs, the down parts too. But I'm telling you, that husband, that husband had a hammer, boy. They show, yeah, they don't just show up here; they show down there as well. Yeah, yeah, Netflix on top. This man said Netflix. that husband had a hammer. Yo, I'm telling you, when they first, when they first had sex, I was like, oh, when they, when they first did the deed, like first ever time, that man's things was by his knee. I was like. Excuse me? I love that Maui found these great ways to wrap up the episode <laughs> because we are not about to talk about Mandingo of anime. <laughs> I was like, that's how Vikings Mr. Rolling? Dangalang of, of the you know, Voss Kings. Like, no. You know, it's funny when I was like, when I saw this scene and I was like, because this is the first scene they showed like the doubt for the Valkyries. They show just like Bush. They don't show like anything else. Mm. But like when I first saw the first sex scene was them, the, the fiance and them, I was like, Oh, they showing all that? 
and then <laughs> I saw the I saw the horse swinging what? down there, and it reminded oh, me of the scene in Vikings when the Queen of Mercia was like. I need men to fight for me. Hmm. And then, but she was like, I also need men. So, cause she liked to be, she liked to be, she liked to do some stuff like with multiple. Hmm. And then she's like, the King is like, Oh yeah, these men, they'll work for you. Like these Viking mercenaries. And she's like, really? And she goes up to the dude and she like opens his pants. She puts her hand down there and she grabs, she's like, Oh, and he's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You like that. <laughs> you got she's that like, right. She, she's like, Oh, Oh my, Oh my. And I'm like, <laughs> I guess Vikings built like that. I, I don't know. Two. What to tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Two of them. Shit. She had four. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I, I don't know, but this show, so I give this show one because I, I love Norse mythology stuff. So the anime was, the animation was decent. Mm. Did I like it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The animation was its own style. You know All what I'm right. saying? It was its own like little style, kind of like picture drawn, like really colorful picture drawn style anime. Um, you know, so that's like a that's like a easy five. That's like mid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but the the vi- yeah the the violence and the the just the maturity. Like they didn't censor anything. I think that's that's nine ten out of ten. Like there's no. I'm glad that they're just not. They're just like look this this TV M A capital M capital A. Like there's no like viewer discretion is not advised just don't let them watch it like, like you know plot, what i'm saying though. the plot again the plot was decent until i started realizing that it was just the heavy trope if this if you have never seen vox machina mm. i would say you would probably like the show there's just a lot of dumbass decisions made during the show that just doesn't make sense to you like you'd sit there and be like what like the whole thing with her so there's one part and i, I didn't mention it because it didn't really like doesn't really affect anything but she's like she leaves him and she's like i can't marry you anymore my life is only about vengeance now and revenge i don't want to marry you i don't love you go marry the other girl we had a threesome with and he's like no and the other chick's like i don't love you either i love her but i know that's your woman so i'm just gonna help you get her back and i'm like huh what are you watching excuse, excuse me? <laughs> what are you this watching? is love is blind love is blind season 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 eight <laughs> yeah <laughs> But like I was, I was like, with what? you, but now you on some other shit. Like what? Well, no, I mean they had they had like a little little threesome with the girl who was like a human in the old gods world. They like rescued her. Mm-hmm. They had like a little thing, which happens in a lot of Viking shows. If in Vikings themselves, Ragnar and Lagatha had a little thing with, with another girl. So um, that's normal. But then like at one point, she's just like, my life's all about vengeance now. Mm-hmm. Like I'm I'm a revenge girl. You know, I'm you vengeance. Know, no, yeah, Batman. like <laughs> Bruce yeah. Wayne. I'm yeah. vengeance. <laughs> Yeah, like I was like, huh? Like, yeah. There's just parts in it where it just really doesn't make sense, and so I would say it'd be a good, it would be an enjoyable watch. I'm definitely because set up for season two, so I'm gonna watch the season two. I love the Norse mythology stuff, but if they, some people, people gonna be complaining. I know they are because Netflix are dropping them really gory, really like nudity shows. I always see people just these 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 moms out here. It's on Netflix. Don't. Yeah, no, I'll tell you. Like Maybe Netflix ain't right. family friendly no more. I'm no, sorry. No, because my daughter's on Netflix and her profile, like it doesn't see like she can't even watch one piece on her profile. Yeah. She literally yeah. has to watch one piece on my it's profile. It's a kid's profile. Have a kid's profile. I don't know what to tell you. They don't want like, a, yes. they don't want an adult. They don't want a parent. That's too much. like there's there's a whole point to that. But but people are gonna be complaining about it. I I would give this show a solid 6.8 out of 6. 10. 6.8 out of 10. That's some. I think 7 that's is being, being forgiving. Whew. I think 7 is being too much. The fact um, that you have and, to give it a point just, 8 means so something, though. If you've watched Vox Machina, it's a 6. If you haven't watched Vox Machina, it's a, it's a 7. Mm. 7.5 out of 10. Mm. If you haven't. Um, and Vox Machina is a million times better than the show. A million times. I haven't so, seen it yet. I gotta check it out. Yeah, it's yeah, so on season 3 right now. New episodes just dropped yesterday. Um, but or Sunday sponsor us, sponsor us, Amazon. <laughs> but that's why. But Vox Machina is on Amazon. So, but mm. I, I'm I'm really digging. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm really digging the 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 adult style animes that they're coming out with on mm. Netflix. I love it. I love every single one of them. I mean, we have like Castlevania, Dota, Dragon's Blood, uh, Blood of Zeus, now Twilight of the Gods. You know, they're coming out with so many, mm. and I'm for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for all of it, but this is the first one that I've seen where I'm just like, 
I know I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I know what you're doing. You stealing plots. You haven't done that before. Stop. Stop it. Stop they it. Haven't? Not, not with the is... with Do- no, I'm talking about like their Netflix originals, like Dota. I mean like uh, their Blood original Zeus. movies. I will say I will say the one and only comparison that I've seen from one of those shows to another show is Dota Dragon's Blood when it came down to there's some berserk moments in there, like mm. there's the anime berserk, and then they had a lot of like Witcher moments. So there's a guy in there called the Dragon Slayer guy. He's like the big, the big bad dragon. They're all dragon slayers. That's what they, that's what they are. This dude, one hundred percent, reminds me of a Witcher. Like he is through and through a that. Witcher. I gotta watch He's that through, too. Nah, yeah, he has this whole like. If I could have any like power system that wasn't like internal but like external. And like like armor and a sword, mm-hmm. I would one hundred pick one hundred percent pick his shit because it's like a dragon scale armor that like makes him like shoot around the sky and like has a sword that's like an executioner. So it's fucking great. But the dude from Dota literally is a guts like character. He's he has giant car- giant giant fucking sword, you know. So that's about the only one I could really see that like takes away from other shows. Other mm-hmm. than that, like Castlevania is its own thing. Uh, Blood of Zeus. I'm like not, I'm not getting on Netflix. They've been on their shit for like I've been trying to rag on them what, what for like past two three years. Like they haven't really, mm-hmm. they haven't been putting up any um duds. We'll say like most of the things they've been putting up bangers. Like the live action's been bangers. The animes that you've watched have been bangers. Some bangers. of the ones I've seen been bangers. And they're picking up already existing animes as well. Netflix is gonna hold I it see. down for a very long time to come. I'd say the worst one out of all of those would probably just be Blood of Zeus, only because that's that's a story that's been told a million times. It's the Hercules story. Blood it's the Zeus half, good, it's the half god, half human gets accepted into the gods. The gods have a little war, have a little battle. He has to find his own strength and his own power. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that story's been done a million times, it's so it's kind of like as old as time. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it again. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Sorry, um, but like that's. That is a tale as old as time. But other than that, like Dota's great. Castlevania is top tier. Castlevania is still number one for me. So mm-hmm. that'll always be number one. They need to do. They need to do something because they started that new series with his great grand, great great grandbaby. Mm-hmm. They need to keep. They need to keep that shit up because hey, that shit is. Shout out my nigga Netflix. Y'all doing y'all thing. Keep him out. happy. Bro. He's a hard one to please. Trust. Me. Uh, He's look. hard to please. Titties and blood. That's all I need. Titties. And blood. Okay, maybe he's, he's not that hard to please. He wasn't even that big either. The, the blood could be yeah. on the titties. He don't give a fuck. He didn't have no opi, nothing. That shit was crazy. I blood said, what is this? Ridiculous. I got my titties bigger than hers. That's crazy. Oh, um, my word. This, this episode is not made for kids. Another segue um, to the... I'm glad you all joined us today. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, side note. This is our uh, secret giveaway code. So, if you've made it this far in the episode... Yeah, yeah. if you made it th- thus far in the episode, for our giveaway that we're doing, if you enter the code, if you go down to freeanimestuff.com, you see all the entries, you'll see secret code. If you enter otaku, Y-T, one word, no caps, whichever way I'm pointing, that's the way he's pointing, so I'm going to point that way. <laughs> um, if you enter otaku, Y-T, so otaku, Y-T, and, all, and no caps, one word, into the secret code. That'll get you some entries into our new giveaway. Um, we appreciate you guys for sticking around. Please subscribe, like, all that stuff. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let us know. I want I want to hear some of y'all Netflix suggestions because I've watched them all, but we got to get David on this train. He hasn't watched them, and we need he needs to be on this train with me because these are good shows. I know you watched Castlevania a little bit with Yordi, um, but we need to we need to get you we need to get you cultured. My friend, honestly, not to drag it out, <clears throat> I got a TV. Yeah, for the downstairs, my office. It's twenty twenty four. Welcome. In my opinion, it wasn't necessary, but apparently it was necessary. So I got a it TV. Is. Um, and I've been watching a lot more stuff that you can only watch on TV because you know the PC I can put on anything. I just got my sights for that. The TV, yeah. I'm stuck to Netflix, Crunchyroll, things like just that. So I think Good. with that. Good. I can watch more Netflix stuff. Start with I if you're gonna watch an, list. not list. start with Dota. Start if you're gonna. What I'm saying, as the list of the Netflix anime mm. like animation. So if you haven't finished Castlevania, do that. Then watch the his great great grandbaby's one. Um, watch that one. The twi- It's like 
Castlevania Twilight something. It's like blue. You'll see it. It's like a blue title. Start with that. Those two. Finish Castlevania. Do that one. And then go to Dota. Go to Do- Dota Dragon's Blood. Start with that one. And then yeah, you'll D-O-T-O. Be... D-O-T-A. D-O-T-A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D-O-T-A. Yeah, go to that one. You'll be, you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's a good, it's a, it's a little good one. We'll see. We'll see Netflix. Oh, you can watch, you can also watch The Witcher, The Witcher animated one. That oh, yeah, that's the great. one I already know I want to watch, so. Yeah, that's, that shit is fucking fantastic. I don't know. They need to figure that out. If they ain't going to continue to Witcher live action, they need to at least continue, like, the animated show, because that, that shit is great. And Terminator. I need to finish Terminator, too. Yeah, Terminator. Terminator, Terminator well. Witcher. Yeah. There's a few things. That's, we'll, yeah. we'll get to do it eventually. <laughs> nah, nah, you... Dota, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Dota's Dragon's Blood. I, I like the little Dragon Hunter Witcher stuff. That's that's all my favorite type of stuff. But anyways, uh, we appreciate you guys for hanging around, uh, just just being here with us. You know, doing our first giveaway. Uh, this is something that you know means a lot to us. We put a lot of time and effort into this. So go check out that giveaway, freeanimestuff.com down in the description below. Uh, you'll enter to get some entries, get some prizes. Uh, just, just, we want to give back to you guys. You know, that's the reason why we do this. We do the news all the time. Uh, please like subscribe, leave a comment, ring notification bells down below. So you don't miss out on any of our future episodes. This season in anime is, uh, pretty spicy. Pretty no, spicy. Good. We're, we're going huh? to talk about it. Like we're going to get into it. It's good. Really? It's a whole, you said other, it's good. It's good. It's, it's really oh, good. Oh, okay. Your facial expressions. I, I it cut off a little bit. No, it's it, not like, I feel like. Okay. If I get into it, it's a whole discussion. It's like, it's good. Other. Like, it's good. I, there's it's so good. many bangers this season. I haven't even watched half of the show this season. So, it's good. It's we'll good. get into it. We'll get into it. But stick around for that. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.